uh, welcome to my YouTube video. The water system, that's the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the discharge uh, that fills the reservoir. After each flush, it takes a longer time for the reservoir to fill up. And I was wondering what could be the problem. I've checked the line. My line is under pressure, so yeah, it has enough pressure to push water here. And I've been checking, and uh, honestly, there are just two systems inside this the float that I showed you earlier on, and uh, the one for uh, the water, the one that sends water into into it. I can't remember the exact uh, name of that component. Once you take those two components out of this system, what you are left with is an empty reservoir, an empty bucket inside it. So you see, it's pretty easy to carry a maintenance on this system. Don't be scared if someone wants to install it in your house. Uh, it's easy. Now I'm going to show you how to remove the water section. Uh, first and foremost, I have to take off this, uh, I'm not showing it in this video because I've already captured this in another video. I took this out and uh, the next thing now is to remove the, the one that controls water into the reservoir. The first thing uh, you will notice, uh, he has, sorry, he has an isolation valve where you can isolate water going into the system now uh, uh, this is water coming into the system now i've turned on water so that i can remove this component here so this is let me position this camera properly so this is how first of all since i've isolated water into the system i'll take off this it comes uh, with uh, its own uh, Spanner which is attached to the system. Once I'm able to take off this, okay, uh, be careful. There's a rubber in this, you don't want to lose it inside that place because uh, if you do, it's, it will be it will take a long while for you to find that in there because it's a small company. So I'll put it aside, I'll be very careful. And uh, the actual component we want to remove. Let me show you. Let me bring the camera closer to show you the actual component we want to remove. Uh, you see, there's a clip here. Once you press this down, once you sorry, once you press this down a little bit, yeah, you unclip it, and uh, when you unclip, just raise this up. There's a groove in here that it goes into the lower portion. Just slide it through, yeah, until it comes up. And uh, bam, there you have uh, the water mechanism coming up. There's a smaller component compared to to the the float. Just be gentle, be careful. You don't want to break any part. Right? It's a bit difficult for me because uh, I'm using one hand to film this video and I'm using the other hand to remove that. Uh, there you go. That is the component uh, we're going to be working on today to see what the problem is, why it's not discharging water appropriately. So I've got a bucket here that I'm going to use. You don't want to do this near the system, otherwise you might end up just losing some of the components. So water comes in through this place, and this is the float. As water fills, uh, it goes through here into the system, and it goes down, and it comes out here into the reservoir. As water fills, it lifts this system up, you can see there's a mechanism here. Uh, when it gets to the desired set, you can actually adjust this. You can move it up. If you're not getting enough water, if you want more water, you can screw and unscrew uh, to get more or less water. And so you, when it fills up, it's a float system. 
when it gets to the set uh, thread, it activates this. These are closed water into the system, so water stops flowing. So the problem I'm having is it's taken a longer time for the water to fill. Apparently, this system is clogged uh, inside that place. Uh, usually, uh, if the, uh, the pipe over time, you know, during the welding of the pipe, you have, uh, I mean, uh, you have pieces of uh, loose, uh, loose plastics when you cut the pipe, which over time, uh, it, when it flows through the pipe system, uh, it tends up uh, getting cut off again, so you have to flush them out. Okay, so let me show you how to remove this. Uh, the first thing you want to be doing is let me just give you a better video. Okay, but the first thing you want to do is take off this part. Uh, this is pretty simple yeah unscrew this and make sure you uh, that's one part gently remove this jiggle it a little bit and when you're working try to watch the direction of what you're doing so that uh, when you want to couple it back you won't have difficult time uh, checking which goes to which side. You can use a marker to mark this, so you know it comes to this side, okay? Uh, jiggle it out, okay? It's out. Uh, the other thing, so I've got two components. I'm just gonna put them, I'm going to close this. I'll put it to components here, okay? The next thing, I want to remove this mechanism uh, which I think is a problem. Uh, you have to gently pop this out without breaking it because once you break this, yeah, you need to replace that part. Get okay, it's out, and uh, you see there's nothing holding the float, so it's free to move. You gently turn this. Uh, counter clock uh, a little turn then uh, it's not traded a little turn let me stay with a little turn and you might hear a click sound yes once you hear that that means it's done oops oopsie doopsie what up now you've taken the system apart this other end I'll set this one aside here that's the top component uh, top component. The other component now, the part that gets clogged is inside here because water goes through here. There's a venturi tube inside there with little channel. I mean, the channel can barely pass a noodle through. Uh, that's the part that gets clogged. Uh, this is a bit tricky to remove this. I'll have to use a screwdriver. Okay. Uh, you just have to pop it. It's got two joints. Uh, this is what happens. As you get older, you probably need your pair of glasses to be able to see the head. Uh, I've got my pair of reading glasses. Okay. Uh, okay, just be careful how you take this apart gently. Gently just prop a little bit, little prop. And um, one other thing you might want to do is uh, you might want to mark which one is up and which one is down. So this one goes up. I'm just going to I'm just going to stir it. So and I will need you to tell me which one goes up. Just kidding. Uh, so the the one that I start uh, is the part that goes up. You want to be careful uh, because uh, the other end uh, needs a sliding mechanism. Okay, okay. You can see it's coming up with this. 
ideally it's not supposed to come up with that uh, but that's no problem i can okay uh, as i was saying yeah, so it goes out and this comes here ideally this was supposed to be here so taking it up this is the place that has the problem so gently i need something that i can use to bring this out with care if you've got a uh, nose plier Okay. Uh, yeah, I've got me a nose plier to make it a lot easier. So I'll try and remove this venturi with a nose plier. Uh, okay. Uh, earlier on, I've already flushed this system. This was the part that get uh, uh, clogged. With uh, let me see if I can see, find some of the paper dust like pieces uh, that fell in clogged it so i've cleaned the system with water i've washed it and uh, it's perfect so to couple it back it's pretty simple you follow the same process that's the reverse of the removal process so the first thing this venturi wash clean when the venturi is clean when it's clean see I don't know if I can get this clearly. You can see the inside, it has a channel. Make sure it's clean. You can use needle. If you have a dead step, needle to clean it up. This is the venturi. I've also washed the venturi, it's all clear. The venturi has got teeny tiny holes. I don't know if you can see it. So make sure those ones still are clean. What you do, pop it back in goes in uh, the next item is uh, those two parts that we remove hold them steady this is got o ring make sure the o if you have a uh, lubricant just apply the two lubricant there to make sure it pops in i've already done that and fits in Make sure it's tight. Okay, now those two parts that we this is the star part, this is the top part, and it faces this direction. The other one that holds that part in place. Okay, so what you have to do is for one part, you can see you have a, a joint like an arm that hooks against the other one so do the first one on one side and for the second side once you click it uh, sorry. the second one it it can you just need a little screwdriver to push the top part in a little bit so it clicks be careful when you're doing this Yeah, there you go, it's clicked. Uh, so this system is okay. The next one, remember we removed this and uh, re remember the direction it was facing. Uh, that is very key. Uh, you don't want to forget that. Okay, that keeps into place. Then there is something to screw it tight. Oopsie. Oh, I got you. Okay. Just screw it back. Once you are done. Not too tight so you don't break their plastic parts. Okay. Um, the last component is that mechanism. Uh, that stops water uh, when the float goes up and goes up and makes it to run when the float goes down. Okay. Remember, we removed it from here. See, it's got uh, four four channels. 
one, two, three. And this one is a bit funny. And you look for that part here. That's the funny part. So what you do is put it back inside and create click. Good. Then bring up the float and just make sure this goes into the right channel to the neck. There you go. And this is going to flow water. You can do a test into a bucket. I don't know, can this video? Okay, we can do a test into a bucket and see how much, how well it's going to flow. Very simple, for a bucket here. I just take this part and connect. Just do and pipe. Put in the bucket and come on and see how well it flows, if it's working. You can see it's pouring quite a lot of water now. So we can turn off the tap, remove this. Remember this as a groove. I slide something slides onto this. That's how you know it's in place. And it's in there. The gentle, put it inside. And um, okay, that is in place. Jiggery, that's working. And all we just have to do is connect this back. There you go. And all you just have to do is turn and say. If it's working, yes, it is working. The next thing I have to do is to put this float back. I've already shown you this on another video how to do this. Uh, so, we don't have to. If you want to see how to do this, go check my other video how to put the float back. Uh, thank you.